the darkness of this world. That what rulers it means. Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Rear Room Show. Let me uh, turn that guy off. That's our uh, preacher man. On, uh, should be 9.980. And let me go back to my webpage here. Um, as you know, I've been experimenting with this Fifi SDR. And... Um, been desperately looking for some information about it and about the software that's available for it. Um, I initially showed you the software that came with it, which is the Benito um, for the Fifi SDR. Uh, Benito, of course, writes a lot of software for different radios, and it's quite expensive. And apparently when this um, concept experiment was going on, they made a version of their software for this um, study on this Fifi SDR. And uh, I've been playing with it a little bit, and what I've noticed is that looking at the little bit of documentation I've found on other versions of this software, there's apparently a lot of functions that are not turned on. Hence, that's why it's free. And uh, but it's got you know it's got the basic stuff. So in my quest for um, some more universal software, I ran across this web page, and I'll show it to you in a minute. The uh, w1aex.com web page. This is Rob. He is um, very experienced with software-defined radios and software for software radios. Well, when I did the search on the Fifi SDR software, I came down and I found this page right here. Actually, these two pages. I'll go to the first one here of his. And here's all the software that he's he has experimented with. There's a lot more out there that will work with this SDR. But these are the ones that he's experimented with. Here's the one that I'm using. Here is SDR Console. I believe this might be version 3, which um, the author is Simon, who wrote Ham Radio Deluxe. This one is Genesis Radio. Again, it's a piece of software that comes originally I think came with the flex radio which is like fifteen hundred dollars and up and they made a version that'll work with the Fifi SDR and then he has this uh, little article with a lot of useful information here's the Fifi SDR in the box here's the open box and here are the two boards that I mentioned. This is the receiver and this is the pre-selector which I think this is really make, what makes this radio apart from other less expensive SDRs. This again, this radio is $150. And it comes as a kit and you got to do a little assembly, not much. I talked about that before. And then he goes through some important things that you have to do to get the software to work. And this is the key. This is where I cannot get it to work or it kind of halfway worked. And he said, I sent him an email and I asked him, could I have permission to show your webpage on my show? And he said, yes. And then um, he says, you know, do you have any questions? And I said, well, yeah, I'm looking for some software better than the radio jet that came with the package itself. And he said, I use Genesis, and I really like Genesis, and it's got a lot of features. So I attempted to install it, and all kinds of error message, it would not install properly. So I sent him an email back, and I said, yeah, I tried, but I can't get it to work. And then he says, I've got instructions pretty much step-by-step -step instructions of how to install it on my one of my web pages. Try that. I did that. 
I fouled it to the T. It works. It works. So that is what you're seeing now. Um, and then he has some, he has a number, he has a YouTube channel, uh, which you can reach from here, YouTube channel right here. And uh, he's got a number of uh, videos showing this Genesis software and the SDR console. And even the, uh, the software I'm using. Okay, let's go back to the main page. And now let's go down to the Genesis software for the Fifi SDR, for, so for this radio. And on this page, it goes step by step how to get this software installed, all the bazillion little um, options you have to set to get it to work right. So I went through this page by page, did everything exactly as he said, and bingo, it's working. There's even, uh, I think he shows it down. Yeah, you can even customize the look of the user interface. Here's some, here's some ideas. And he also, down here, he has some what's called skins for the interface that he has put together. And you can do it too. And you can click on one of these pictures and download that skin, install it in the skin directory of Genesis, and boom, that works. Because the default skin, I don't know if he has that here. No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah. The, right here, kind of a piece of it, this is what the default screen look like. looks like. They have like four skins that comes with the software, and they're all kind of blah. So... I did that, chose one of his, I think I chose the ANAA, excuse me, ANAN, which is down here someplace, skin, and it's working fine, right? It's the next one. Nope, not the next one. This one, I chose this one. So that's what you're seeing, a few minor tweaks. So I got this working, and it does have a ton of features. Look at all these options. You know, somebody was asking me, why would you want to use an SDR over just a regular shortwave radio? Well, this is the reason. All these options you got. The uh, filter selections, the fact that you can change that infinite number of selections to, to get rid of things, such as adjacent noise and stuff like that. Um, Of course, the big feature, which more expensive radios, I'm talking $1,000 or more, will give you these kind of features on the radio. But number one, they're smaller. Uh, for instance, this uh, waterfall and a spectral display, that's what I like. Be able to see those infinite number of stations and then be able to scroll over to it and select it. So... I'm going to be, I, I'm kind of, right now, I'm kind of sold on this Genesis, so I'm going to be doing more shows using this. I, I've got a big learning curve because, once again, there's no documentation. So I've been searching YouTube and the uh, Internet for any kind of hints or documentation or what some of these buttons mean or how to use them. So... That's the show for today. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.